For each Learn the Step lesson, I'll be breaking down the steps for you. As you master each part of the step, we'll spice up the moves a bit while the music gets faster and more dynamic. This rhythm is Calypso. Let's This tutorial shows you how to control the on-screen menus. In Zumba Fitness, you make your selections by scrolling through the interactive menus. Press and hold the trigger button on the PlayStation 3 Move Controller and rotate it side to side to scroll through the menus. Then, press the X button to select the highlighted item. Now, let's review the space requirements to play. You'll be moving a lot in Zumba Fitness, so make sure you have plenty of space around you. Stand 8 to 10 feet from your PlayStation 3's monitor. Have at least 3 feet of open space on either side of you to move around the room as you follow the instructor. You should have at least 3 feet of open space in front of you and behind you too. Let's look at how to use the controller during the dance gameplay portions of Zumba Fitness. Here's the correct way to wear your PlayStation 3 Move controller inside the sleeve of the Zumba Fitness belt. It's important that the Move controller is located directly on your hip bone with the buttons facing out, away from your body. As you perform your Zumba dance steps, the Move controller will track your body's motions. In this next tutorial, we'll review the in-game energy meter. The on-screen energy meter displays how much party energy you've accumulated. For each Zumba dance step you correctly perform with your instructor, you earn party energy. The closer you follow along, the more energy you generate. Filling up the energy meter pushes the party atmosphere over the top and onto the next stage. Now let's look at the in-game routine countdown timer. This on-screen countdown timer displays the amount of time remaining until the end of the current Zumba routine. During a Zumba class or Zumba party, when the timer counts down to zero, the current routine is over and the next routine will begin in just a few seconds. On the game setting screen, you can choose to have the countdown timer displayed on screen or leave it hidden. This lesson shows you how to follow your on-screen instructor to best perform the Zumba dance steps. During a routine, you mirror the dance movements of your Zumba instructor. When they move to the left of the screen, you move to the left in the room. Party energy is earned based on your rhythmic motion that is in sync with the instructor's dance steps. The more in sync you are with the instructor, the more energy and points you will earn. In addition to mimicking the instructor's moves, Watch and listen for additional dance cues that can be in the form of physical gestures or spoken prompts. In the next lesson, we'll review what it means when the color of your instructor changes. As you perform correct dance steps, the color of your instructor will briefly shift from red to yellow or green, communicating how closely you are mimicking each dance step. This tutorial, let's look at playing a routine in solo mode. When dancing a routine as a solo player, you will follow the Zumba instructor located in the center of the screen. All the party energy you accumulate will be collected in the main energy meter at the bottom of the screen. As the party progresses, additional background dancers will join the party on stage. These dancers are a sign that you've successfully pushed the party up a notch. Now here's how to play a routine in co-op mode with a friend. When playing Zumba with a second person, you will each have your own instructor on screen to follow. Player 1 always follows the instructor on the left side of the screen, while player 2 always follows the instructor on the right side of the screen. The energy you both accumulated is collected together in the shared main energy meter. 
Afterwards, the results screen displays individual totals for each player, along with the combined co-op score. When playing in party mode, your goal is to complete 10 progressively more advanced classes, from beginner to intermediate to expert. This list of classes is also known as your party punch card. As each class is finished, it is shown with a check mark on your punch card. Each player has their own punch card, which is tied to their individual profile. The punch card unlocks in tiered skill levels. Complete all of the beginner classes to unlock the intermediate classes. Then complete all the intermediate classes to unlock expert, and so forth. When all 10 classes are completed, you will unlock the final Zoomathon level with Beto as your instructor. From the Zumba class menu, you can select any one of the unlocked classes to play alone or with a friend. Classes can be in different skill levels, beginner, intermediate, or expert, and in different durations from 20 minutes, 45 minutes, and the 60-minute Zumbathon. There are also multiple variations of the Zumba classes, each offering a slightly different set of routines. Let's look at how to play a two-player Zumba attack. In a Zumba attack, the party is divided into two sides, and each player takes turns in a dance-off style competition to see who can out-Zumba the other. Player 1 always follows the instructor on the left side of the screen, while player 2 always follows the instructor on the right side of the screen. One at a time, each player dances with their assigned instructor to perform a specific dance step sequence. The player who earns the most Zumba attack energy by achieving the most successful dance steps is declared the winner. When in a Zumba attack, here's how the dual energy meters work. During a Zumba attack, each player has their own energy meter displayed directly below their instructor. Player 1's energy meter is always on the left side of the screen, while player 2's meter is always on the right. Each time a player successfully performs a dance step, they fill up a portion of their energy meter. Score five consecutive beats in a row, and you become infused with the Zumba high. Any steps successfully performed on your next turn will score a three times value. Now here's how the two-player versus two-player mode works when playing as teams. In 2v2 mode, Two teams of two players face off and dance as competitive co-op teams. The first player on a team always follows the instructor on the left side of the screen, while the second player on that team always follows the instructor on the right side. Each team performs a full routine by themselves one at a time. Team one goes first, and then team two dances to the same routine. The goal is to see which team can generate the most party energy in their team's energy meter. The team with the most energy after both teams have danced is declared the winner. Let's review how to switch controls during a two-player versus two-player competition. In a 2v2 battle, the first team dances to an entire routine, with each player following their own instructor. Then, Team 1 yields the floor to Team 2, giving them their Zumba Fitness belts and PlayStation 3 Move controllers. Team 2 now dances the same routine. The team with the most party energy in their team's meter, at the end of the competition, is declared the winners. Let's look at playing a multiplayer online Zumba session. With Zumba Fitness, you can get online and play simultaneously with your friends or anyone around the world. Everyone plays the same routine or class locally on their own console at the same time. To host a Zumba session, Go to the online menu and select a class. A minimum of two and a maximum of 16 simultaneous players can play. Your host console will send the start point for each routine to all the joined players to keep everyone in sync. You can also use your console's headset to get everyone chatting during the class. To join a Zumba session, select a class from the search result list that has already started or is about to start. If a class has not yet begun, you will see a waiting for session to start message until the host kicks off the class. When joining a session already underway, you will not be dropped into the middle of a routine in progress. Instead, you will join the session at the beginning of the next routine in the class. 
Now let's look at using the workout calendar. When you access the calendar, the current day will be selected with your scheduled workout. After completing each workout, Zumba Fitness automatically saves your progress in the calendar. You can change your weekly workouts by selecting one of the predefined Zumba created schedules. Each schedule is managed on a per week basis and automatically populates your workout calendar going forward. You can also create your own custom workout schedule with any of the available classes in Zumba Fitness. Select the skill level, class length, and days of the week you'd like to work out. Custom schedules are saved to a special workout schedule slot in your individual player profile. Let's look at creating a player profile. When creating your own player profile, you enter your name and then select a color and skill level. Your selected skill level is used to adjust the threshold for how Zumba Fitness tracks your dance motions. Let's look at playing a routine.